Professor Lewis. Dr. Freud. I've given you up for lost. Your fee is my personal assistant. Really? Well, if a patient is calm, your fee always stretches out at my feet. But if a patient is agitated, your fee stands at my side. What shall I make of his running away at the sight of me? Ah, well, he's also a fanatic about punctuality. Well, you have a wonderful home. My daughter Anna tried the best to replicate our home in Vienna. Forgive me, but why would you come here to see me if you disagree so passionately with my views? To make you realize that you're wrong. <laughs> well done. Good. You've insisted all your lives that the very concept of God is ludicrous. Yes. Why someone of your supreme intellect would suddenly abandon truth and then embrace a ludicrous dream, an insidious lie? Well, I wholeheartedly disagree. Well, of course you disagree. You have to disagree. Otherwise, the entire structure of your childish faith would collapse into a rubble. Why does religion make room for science, but science refuses to make room for religion? Oh, please, you're breaking my heart. Because they hide behind their ignorance. You hide behind your ignorance. I think that you're afraid to feel emotions at all. Is that your final diagnosis? Fascinating. I don't know. You don't know? Well, finally, 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 we're making progress. You lie to yourself, thinking that you can control death, the way you control your world and your daughter. Anna's dedicated to the science. Is she seeing someone? She has no time for relationships. I'm worried about my father. He has no one. There must be someone. Me. That's my girl. The truth is, you're terrified. We're all terrified. See, you bury your doubts. You bury your memories of the war. But at the core of your being, we're all cowards before death.